Hello and welcome to another edition of Once Upon a Week. My name's Chris, a co-host of Nothing But Static, UK television-based podcast. Um, usually I do a little intro blurb and then I go into talking about the episode. Um, but you know, this is the beginning of the second season, this is, you know, a, a new start. I thought, I'm going to watch the episode before recording this time, you know. I think it's important to grow and and try new things. And I went for a run and looked really skanky. I looked horrible. Um, so... I was I was really just trying to make myself a little bit more presentable uh, over the course of the episode. Not I wasn't doing hair and makeup, clearly, um, but I was you know trying off. That sounds so gross. That's just a bit a bit hot and sweaty after the run. Oh man, why am I still talking? Anyway, once upon a time, um, yeah, Regina, Regina, still a bitch. Um, I mean, you you think wouldn't you? like. Is she just a character that never redeems herself? I should explain about the episode first. Um, Dan will be sat there going, You're not summarised! He likes me to summarise. Hi, Dan. Dan's recently uploaded a video, check it out on the channel, where he tries to do my nod, and he doesn't quite do it. Um, and I think part of the reason he doesn't pull it off as well as I do is... Uh, well, I'll, do that after, I'll reveal that at the end. Uh, when I do when I do uh, the nod, the nod is stayed. Some of you worried that you know trying something new would mean getting rid of the nod. It doesn't. Um, this is the first episode back. It concludes the series one cliffhanger. Well, it follows on from that. Uh, magic is being let into the world, but they don't really know how it works. They're saying magic is being let in because their land is destroyed. Actually, we find out their land is still around um, and we follow three characters in, in their land who are being chased by this villain that sucks out souls Dementors! Um, no, they were a bit, well, a bit different from the Dementors they get marked and stuff like that um, uh, but they do seem to suck out souls and kill people which is awful um, and they're being chased by this guy but the reason they're being chased by one of these creatures is because in, in the non-magic world the guys have sent a creature back in time or back to their land um, because uh, Rumpelstiltskin summoned the creature to kill Regina um, for, for locking Bell up. Um, simple, right? Uh, obvs. Um, yeah, really, really enjoyed it. Really action packed. I, like I say, Evil Queen, still a bitch. Like she, Emma, Emma brings her magic back by touching her arm. It would seem, but she still, she tries to kill Emma's dad, and it's just like, what are you doing? Like, be nice. What are you doing? Like, ugh. Like you, they've given her a tragic backstory, but it doesn't. She's had so many chances for redemption, and the the show needs a villain. Obviously, I'm meant to get worked up about her. She's the villain, but ugh, it's just frustrating. She's frustrating. I suppose she should be. Good writing, guys. Good acting on on the actress's part as well. Yeah. So I like the twist. So that usually in series one. The magic lands were f the stuff was flashbacks, and in this one, the twist is that they're not um, that it's happening at the same time or, or just after, in fact. Um, and that's uh, that was really exciting. That's a really new spin on things. Um, the new characters seem all right. They're a bit new character at the moment. It's very hard for shows to introduce new characters and immediately wow you with them, but some shows do do it. Like Lost, when Daniel Faraday in the um, the freighter crew were introduced. You, you warm to them pretty quickly and stuff. And there's probably much better examples out there than that. Um, but I know, but there's examples of it not working. Um, Heroes and stuff. Uh, Hero Series 2, obviously. Pretty much any new character Heroes introduced ever. Um, can't wait for Heroes Reborn. Okay, it should be, should be good. Um, but... Yeah, no, but they um, you know, these characters are all right. They're somewhere in the middle. I, I can't really judge them yet. I've not seen them enough. Um, they're certainly intriguing. Uh, it's intriguing to know why that bit of land survived, the curse and stuff like that. Uh, I love the scene at the beginning where everyone reunited. Um, really good to see Grandma and Prince Charming hug. I felt like they had a lot of stuff in Series 1, and that was justified. No, I'm, I'm being facetious. It was very good. It was a lovely scene. Loved the dwarfs. Oh, when she sees the dwarfs and they're all lined up. Fantastic. Actually, think about it, it's odd that the dwarfs didn't then go and help her on a quest. But anyway. Um, 
maybe that would have been too many people. Um, love the Henry stuff. Love that she tried to save his mum and then realised she's a cow at the end and so went off with his granddad. Love that. Hi, granddad. I guess so, kid. Like, lovely stuff. And I love the way they're addressing the them abandoning Emma stuff. They're doing that really well for something that could be uh, quite... I don't know if cheesy is the right word, but, it, you know, that that could be done badly and it doesn't appear to have... Um, so all in all, a rocking start to series two. Really, really good stuff. Um, really intriguing, fun, fairy tale stuff. Um, you know, stuff with the, I think they called it a Reaper, but they might not have done the stuff with that villain and stuff and crossing lands and stuff. It's all, it's all pretty engaging. I'm, um, I'm, I'm in. And, uh, and it doesn't feel, it feels like they're, They've gone, eh, here's a new track, which is great, rather than just trying to spill out the old one and stuff. You know, even Rumpelstiltskin, with Bell in the mix, it adds something really different to his character. Um, all characters, all the characters have new things to deal with and new character things to do to deal with. Um, except the Queen. She's, she's just a miserable old evil self. I don't know why I'm coming down so hard. My video ran out! No! I, uh, yeah, that's why it jumped. Um, I had to delete the new Muse album to make space. New Muse album's awesome, if anyone's wondering. I should have deleted some older music, but I needed to be quick. Um, yeah, every character's changed apart from the Evil Queen. Don't know why I'm coming so, down so hard on the Evil Queen. Um, but basically, really, really, uh, really enjoying it. Um, really excited because it feels like they've they've gone down a whole new track as opposed to continuing on from the old one. I may, that may be on video. I don't, I, I, I don't know for sure what, I don't think I said anything valuable after, after that. And I think I've repeated that, but there we go. Um, so I did, it's like you itchy back. Um, anyway, there we go. My name's Chris. That's everything. Check out the channel, check out the other videos. Got some new video content coming up soon. Don't want to spoil anything, but it's awesome. Uh, Dan's been working very hard and um, check out the podcast we did the Statics Awards the last episode that's gone up uh, where we talk about this whole season of television and give awards out for best new comedy best new drama etc um, so if you're a general TV fan check that out um, it's worth worth listening to um, yeah there we go my name's Chris and I will see you once upon a week here's where Dan went wrong with the nod in his last video you've got to tilt into it you gotta tilt. He was he was more this. You gotta you gotta tilt. Check it out. My name's Chris and I will see you once upon a week. Yeah, no, no, that does that does still feel awkward. <laughs>